for third grade, we are focusing in on the schwa. So the schwa, it's just something you gotta know. Okay, it's, it's really just something you need to know. Hold on, third grade, that's not. Every time I move. No rules for this. Um, what's this? Confusion, right? That is why it's hard for people to pronounce the name. So when they see my big long last name with A's and I's thrown in, they try to pronounce it the way it looks, but they can't. So really put the monkey mind into the name. Does your name have a schwa? Do you email your teacher? I'm looking at my email to see which kids have names, a squad name that I have to Now remember, we learned that squads can come at the ends of words, many, right? Like in the word random, sounds like it should be a U, but it's an A. Or in the word mitten, sounds like it should be an I and it's an E. Um, lemon. Lem, I don't say lemon. Can I please have a, some lemon with my some lemonade? No, I don't say put extra lemons in my lemon lemonade. I say lemon lemonade. We talked about how a lot of names have squads, right? Emma, Sophia. We talked about places have schwas. Uh, Alaska, that has two schwas, one in the front and one in the back. Uh, Alaska, a lot of schwas in that. Texas. So it sounds like it should be an I, but it's an A. Texas. Dayton, where we live, has a schwa. I don't say Dayton. I'm going to Dayton to drink some lemon aid. You say, I'm going to Dayton to drink some lemon aid. Okay, those are schwas, but you just have to know how to spell them and read them. There's one other very common schwa, and it is the schwa that comes at the end of. Jacket, pocket, rocket. I don't say jacket, pocket, rocket. When I say jack it, sounds like an I. Pock it, sounds like an I. Rock it, sounds like an I. Basket, planet. That's why a lot of kids, when they want to say about planet, I see a lot of this. And that, no, it look it sounds like that, right? I get it. I get it. One hundred percent. Because of the dreaded planet, but we don't say planet. We say planet. So, third grade. The this is just something you have to know when you read and when you spell. And the more you read and get used to seeing words, you'll know if you're going to spell pocket. When you write that down, you'll look at that and you'll say, huh, that doesn't look like pocket to me. I know now when I write that, that that doesn't look right to me. So you have to really think critically when you write your words and spell them. Look at them. In first and second grade, we really just want you to tap them and sound them out. But now in third grade, you need to take the next step. You have to be a critical thinker. You have to look at that and say, hmm, rocket sure does sound like I spell it rocket. But I'm looking at that word and that doesn't look right to me. I don't think I've ever seen rocket like that. I remember that dreaded schwa. It should be an E, but that sounds like an I.
really not much we can talk about the schwa. We've talked all that we can about the schwa. You just have to know as a reader and a writer, the more you read, the more you write, Well, I think that should be good. All right, I'm going to clean this board off, and then I'm going to teach you your sound alike words for this week. The first set of sound alike words are review, but we always have to review them because kids always struggle. Bear, bear, and the contraction there. There, there, and there. Remember, this there has here in it. So if you can say here or there. My mom is standing there. There is the ornament for the tree. Or nah. Look at that. Schwa. Third grade, you're going to notice schwa's all over the place now. There is the ornament for the tree. Here is the ornament for the tree. The other there has that eye. So if you can remember that that eye is the only one with an eye, so you can remember that that kind of shows possession. It is a pronoun, a possessive pronoun, right? So you could say there, tree. Is beautiful. Whose tree is beautiful? Their tree is beautiful. Do we know who they are? Who they are? We don't know who they are, but we just know that their tree, whoever they are, their tree, people owning it, is beautiful. This last one, my friend, is a contraction. They, they are. They're coming for dinner. They're coming for dinner. If you can substitute they are, then it's going to be the contraction. They're this is a review. Did you know that? Did you remember that? Your new sound alike words for this week are weather and weather. Now, I like to tell my kids that if we look at this weather, okay, you notice it has two diagraphs on it. Two diagraphs. Remember when we learned about which and which, and I told you that a good way to remember which and which is it has two diagraphs in it. Which choice do you want? Same thing with this weather. Whether or not, right? You hear, are you coming? Um, whether or not she comes. So a lot of times you hear whether or not. So again, you have that or. So it's kind of like a, a choice. So again, whether or not, I always think, or choice to digress, whether or not. This weather kind of has that W-E-A-T, so kind of like wet or sweater. And if you sweat or if you need a sweater, depends on the weather, right? So, I like to tell my kids, that is how I tell them to remember it. So, this weather, if you can spell sweat and sweater, then you can spell this weather. Now, again, this should be weather, right? This has a schwa. Hold on, third grade, I need to make that better for you. So, if you can spell sweat or sweater, then you can spell this weather. Again, though, this should have a schwa in it, right? This is a schwa. Because we should say weather because it's got that E-A vowel team, right? 
And if we had the EA val team, right, you look over here, EAT is eat. Remember, EAT, eat, E. But it's a strong. When a long vowel sounds like a short vowel, it's unexpected. So this is has a schwa in it. That has a schwa in it. And it's pronounced as a short E. Whatever. Weather. Now this one is phonetically good, right? What? S. Z. Er. Exactly how it should sound. Weather. This one, not so much. It should be weather, but it's weather because that E A has a short vowel sound. But again, if you can spell sweat or sweater, then you can spell weather. Okay, that is it for foundations for unit five, third grade.